Hello sisters, Laura Gabriel here and oh man, growing among my peppers, look at that. I have a little something called the Dahlia. This flower is amazing. It has great symbolism that I'm about to share with you. This Dahlia is called PG. It came from Connell's Dahlias all the way into home, Tacoma, Washington. and. I have this whole patch that's been growing, but I just had an event, so I've cut all but one. I'll have some more, I believe, in time for our September 14th event in St. Louis at Harvest Church. I hope to see you there. It's called Faith Flowers and Friends. We're going to be doing beautiful flower arrangements together using a mix of common flowers that you know and love and a few spicy, unique ones like this one. It's kind of just bright pink too. It's just all the things you need. All the things you need today. And I love the symbolism behind the dahlia. May I share it with you? And I'm also going to share another dahlia that I've grown from seed here. So I have to name this one. Maybe we can come up with a name together. I love its royal hue. It has kind of a, a velveteen look to each petal. So here in my garden, I get a lot of inspiration from the Lord. When you live with your Bible open, it just never stops. He's going to meet you wherever you are. And I think every flower has a meaning that's unique to you. Maybe you've had experience with dahlias and other flowers like zinnias, which I have growing here. I have a little patch going here. I have wind flowers right here. I have some, ooh, these are fun, calendula in several colors. Check that out. There's a nice yellow. There's kind of a, well, I, I don't even know what to call that color. <laughs> and I love being here with you and sharing with you. So let's talk about the Dahlia and what it means, sister. So I looked up the meaning of the Dahlia and it says that the Dahlia represents strength and dignity. And I thought, where have I heard strength and dignity in the Bible before? Well, I've heard the joy of the Lord is my strength. I love that scripture. And I love how in Ephesians we're instructed to stand firm in the armor of God and let that armor infuse us with the strength that we need. And it's God's armor, not ours. So as we stand here with the dahlias, I also had to think of the word dignity and what that might mean. So I opened up to Proverbs 31. You know that a very famous scripture about a wife of noble character. And this scripture has been a little bit controversial for some because they don't necessarily realize that this is actually this, the advice of a mother to her son. So moms of boys take note. This is the mother's heart for the woman that her son would marry. And it was, it was actually a king who would be married King Lemuel. So in Proverbs 31, we hear strength and dignity are her clothing and she laughs at the time to come. Some translations say she laughs at the fear of the future. If you've been shaking in your shoes or just thrown off by what's going on in your life, I know I've been there, then I want to encourage you to make strength and dignity your clothing. How do we do that? Well, we put on the full armor of God. Remember those scriptures and what they mean, how each piece of the armor will help you navigate the shield of faith to block off the enemy's advances and his fiery darts that would seek to sting you in your heart. And sister, to be dignified. That's an interesting word. So I had to look that one up too. And to be dignified has something to do with how you carry yourself. It's that you're a little bit more reserved. You don't lay it all out there for the whole world to see. You fight your battles on your knees in prayer, sister. Don't forget the power of prayer. I believe that the prayer activates the full armor of God and really covers you. So make sure you're praying, not just for yourself, but those you love. And remember to stand firm, right? So from Laura, Gabriel, and the Dahlias,
We say have a wonderful day and I hope to see you there at Faith Flowers and Friends. Bring a friend. We're going to arrange flowers together and hear the message of the gospel through flower symbolism and leave with a beautiful flower arrangement. You can even stay a little later and have lunch with us. It would be a wonderful blessing to see you there and to encourage you in all of this beautiful symbolism that we get from the flowers. All right, sister, this is Laura Gabriel signing off. Bye.